joins us live with the Roseville Fire Department. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Well, this is a different kind of adventure this morning. So we are taking part in what is known as Roseville Fire Ops 101, where we are going through live simulations with the fire department. And we actually just watched the inside of this structure burn in a matter of minutes. This is all depicting what a living room scenario would be like. And I have James Cornwebel with us this morning, who is a firefighter paramedic with the Roseville Fire Department, to tell us more about what we're looking at. So you guys went through and you lit a corner of this on fire. It went up fast. Yes, it did, in uh, less than four minutes. Less than four minutes, and then uh, we saw you come in with the attack, the water hose. But another really important part of this equation is this thermal imaging camera. And tell me how this technology works. So what it does is it looks for heat, and it's really important for us to use in our fire attack and also our search. So most importantly, we look for victims with this technology. It allows us to see the cold uh, victim against the heat of the fire, mm -hmm. helps us look for hidden fire and as well as fire growth. Yeah, and, and we were watching, so it, it, we just missed it live, but there's flames coming up, and we could actually see the temperature of the fire, and it is an obvious change in color to help you guys get some assistance when it is dark and black and smoky in there. Absolutely. If you, if you remember seeing it, it went from about 250 to Degrees to 1100 in just a matter of seconds, and then it turns red on our screen, and then we can still see a blue or a yellow body, if you will, if they're they're. We're looking for them during the, the search of the fire. All yeah. right, so throughout the day, we're going to be going through different simulations. You're looking on the other side here. They're about to, to send this hose up to the building behind. What's going to be going on in that simulation? So this is a, our fire attack scenario, and this is where the groups of our, um, our, our teams here at Fire Ops 101 will be actually be able to pull the hose into the structure, feel the weight of the hose, squirt the hose, feel how much power comes out of it with the water. Blowing. As you can see right now, they're advancing into the hose. And then just a little bit later, we're going to be climbing the truck, um, doing some truck operations, using extrication equipment, and then actually doing live burning. Wow. Okay. And finally, I do want to send it back over this direction one more time, Terry. If we can just turn the camera around. This was really powerful to me. So they pulled this jacket, this fire jacket, one of the turnouts, out from the inside of that building. Important to note this gear is fire resistant, but not fireproof. Yeah. And as you can see, um, this jacket was in perfect condition right before we let off the room. Yep. Um, and it, what will happen under those high temperatures at 11, 1200 degrees, uh, as firefighters, we have to be prepared and ready to uh, know when flashover is coming so we are not in that situation. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for letting us come Absolutely. out and take part thank today. All right, here. so I'm actually going to put the mic down. I'm going to try to get inside of that building. Okay. And again, this is really a great mm -hmm. chance for us as reporters to understand what these firefighters go through. So we have a better idea when we're reporting the news back to you guys. But certainly, uh, we're getting a firsthand look. For for sure. It's a drill, but it's a really good drill for us this morning from yeah. Roseville. Yeah. All right, back for to you. Sure. My nephew is Sac Metro Fire.